so Capcom has been a little slow. At least they were a little slow initially with, with Street Fighter. A couple of months ago, they showed us the the teaser trailer that was basically just muscles and, and feet and a ripped off street a ripped off logo from from Adobe. And Capcom kind of went hard with all of the information and videos and we kind of learned a lot and about street fighter six and maybe more than we should have <laughs> considering the leaks which we'll, we'll, we'll we talk about a little bit um but they showed off quite a bit of of the game and there's some really big revelations here one of which is this whole idea of the game having an open world component to it like this is this is sort of your creative character avatar moving around metro city and you can pick fights with other people they're just, just sure you can a garbage can i think seeing this for the first time made i kind of freaked out of like wait what the heck kind of game are we even playing here <laughs> like i did not sign up for i guess i did sign up to fight in the streets but not like this at this point we kind of thought it was luke it's it's very much not luke and then here we go chun li kind of our first look at her she she looks fantastic and i think looks a little less anime and more more like a uh yeah you know, a human being ryu still just looking like an absolute unit here and i we still don't quite know who who this kid is and if they're going to be in i don't think they're going to be at least in the main roster and we get our first glimpse at a new character here jamie um <laughs> meg says she's wearing leggings i mean can't chun's kind of had i mean she's not always in okay like okay yeah she she's not always showing her legs and on top of that pictures of cammy have been revealed and her default costume she's wearing pants which is a very big deal because she's never had pants up until now this is jamie the drunken master who looks very cool and he's <laughs> Um, this sort of versus screen kind of got people thinking this might be a 2v2 game, which it doesn't look like it will be. And I think, yeah, first impressions, graphics look absolutely insane. Um, and a lot has come out about the, the gameplay and they're adding a whole bunch of new moves to characters. And the, the most interesting part is the, the drive system. And at a fundamental level, Street Fighter has kind of had this challenge of, um, not kind of the game's feeling limited in scale in terms of what you can and can't do and even within the context of universal systems like focus attacks or or v triggers that if your character just got a bad v trigger then you just kind of lost tools there and this drive system is different in that they give players like a whole slew of different sort of universal mechanics like parries and focus attacks and alpha counters all in one go but it's all governed by a meter you can't just spam them all and you kind of have to manage your meter in terms of when you can do each thing and it looks pretty sick uh from a gameplay standpoint so i'm really excited to get my hands on this to play um the game and and see how it how it feels <laughs> that personally uh and some of the other cool things they've added uh esports commentary to the game so they've got i think it's vicious and uh a, a japanese commentator comment commentating on the game which is absolutely amazing i really hope they add a a yipes commentary pack because yipes is godlike you gotta show the guile reveal oh yeah street fighter 6 guile Street Fighter 6. Uh, rioting, rioting about Guile's eyebrows? No, I'm fine with Guile's eyebrows. <laughs> um, where is the Guile reveal? Yeah, this was it. So yeah, Guile got revealed. So we, we officially know five characters. Though a leak through, I think, 4chan kind of leaked the entire starting cast, which is nuts. And I will say that... I love the designs of those characters, old and new, and they pick some good characters. And Guile is ab absolutely, look at those are the guns on this guy are absolutely insane. 
Um, but some really neat stuff that they show here from a gameplay perspective. Guile having some target combos there, such as the, we just saw one right there. This is a new combo, right, the, the crouching one. Yeah, his sweep being two hits is interesting and not knocking down on the first. That's a target combo there. And then having that target combo going from sweep into the standing heavy kick into the flash kick. That's some new sauce for Guile. Um, and then Mully Goon says, RE Engine is proving to be extremely capable and a powerhouse for Capcom. Yeah, Street Fighter 6's graphical fidelity is absolutely nuts. And I love the, the splashes of paint and how they kind of mix uh, sort of realistic, but then also anime look to it. It doesn't look like anything else out there, which I really love. <laughs> yes, it is, Mully Goon. Yes, it is. And yeah, Guile just looking like what a stud. And yes, he has eyebrows here now, ever so faintly. <laughs> but no, this game's this game is looking great. I I look forward to playing it. And you know, who knows where things go from here? Maybe this becomes my main grind. We get back on the the wagon of fighting games, and we'll see what happens. I I I love the mainline Street Fighter series and. I know I haven't really been playing for the last few years because I, I just didn't like what they did with Street Fighter V, but this game has a lot of promise and I I really hope they nail it. And I think that based on everything so far, they're headed in the right direction in terms of graphics, in terms of feature set, gameplay, like it all looks on point right now and I cannot wait. All right. Anything else? Crossplay, not exclusive to place. Yep. Those are some other great points as well. It's it's going to be on. It's coming back to Xbox, which is great. It's going to have rollback. I'm, I'm a little cautious on that because it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean GGPO, but there are companies that are capable of doing good rollback. Shout outs to Guilty Gear Strive has fantastic rollback netcode. Um, and what else? Modern controls. They are ticking all the right boxes. Yeah, they are adding sort of Smash Bros style simplified controls, which for, for some people, that's going to be a great way to kind of get the sensation of playing the game and being able to do cool moves without having to do get, getting the fun of Street Fighter a lot quicker than having to learn quarter circle motions and all that, but also not not designing it in such a way where you pro players just use the modern controls and beast, right? Um, it's built in such a way where you're losing pretty much half of your moves along the way if you play with the, the modern controls. So I'll, I'll be sticking to my OG controls personally. And yeah, the perfect timings, they've recently revealed that where um, Guile and some characters will have a thing where if you input the move perfectly, you get some extra benefit, which is kind of another cool way of uh, introducing, adding more skill to the game that isn't necessarily being able to hit a thousand hit combos and stuff like that. So uh, another clever way of expanding and adding more layers of depth to the experience, which I think Street Fighter's kind of been missing where... It just kind of felt very linear in a way, uh, especially season one of Street Fighter V, where it was pretty much every character is a rushdown character and you found all their BNB combos in the first hour and you, you figured out the mix ups right away. And there just kind of wasn't more to it than that. But between the drive gauge system, perfect inputs and stuff like that, it feels like Street Fighter VI is going to be a more open ended game, which I'm really looking forward to experiencing for myself.